Hi, Lincoln Yeager here from trailermusiclibrary.com doing a review and a little demo of Sound Iron's Cylindrum Library. I made a little demo track to extol the virtues of this plugin and 80% um, of the instruments I used are actually from Cylindrum. Those are the ones highlighted in green here. The darker green tracks up here use Cylindrum ambiences and the lighter green ones here use percussive instruments from Cylindrum. The yellow instruments here are just some percussive elements I used from other Cylindrum libraries, I'm sorry, sound iron libraries to uh, just enhance the feel of the rhythm slightly. And these are just some synths that are running uh, to hold the main melody down. Okay, let's have a look at the track. Okay, I hope you like that. What I'm just going to do is take the rhythmic pattern somewhere in the middle and uh, mute all the non cylindrum instruments so you get an idea um, how much I actually made um, with this cylindrum. So let's have a listen to that. Uh, like that. Here we go. So, as you can see, the the brunt of the track is really made up of cylindrum samples. Um, a lot of it done really by layering several different cylindrums that are being hit to get a more intense sound, um, particularly towards the end of the track. Um, I'll just highlight that again and play that back here uh, with just the cylindrum instruments so you can hear how I, I got that sound going just using the cylindrum.
So some great effects going on and some great sounds. Um, if you think about it, um, all they did is actually record various noises coming out of um, a cylinder drum. And there are some pictures and documentation of, of, of what they did, but basically it's, it's very cylindrical shapes that have been hit. Now, you don't only get, obviously, the percussive elements, but you also get um, ambiences. Um, so if, if you load, uh, you have to load this in the full version of Contact Player, by the way. It won't work in the free version, the Contact Player. Um, so if you open it up, you see within the Instruments folder, Ambiences, FX and Percussion. And the ambiences are fantastic. Um, all of them can be changed with a modulation wheel. So if we have a look at this one called Cylindrones Modulation Wheel Filter. Let's have a listen to that. So as you could see there on the left hand side, I was changing the mod wheel to um, change the sound of that. Uh, let's have a listen to Ghost of the Machine. to an instrument called Lost. It sounds a lot more sinister lower down as you can hear. Um, let's have a listen to another one. This one's called On Edge. Spooky and organ drona. There's one more called Wah, which probably sounds like Wah. So, some great sounds going on there. Let's have a quick look at the FX folder. Quite a few more instruments there. Let's have a listen to Beam Down. There's another one called Beam Up, which probably does the same thing but going up, so we'll skip that one. Um, let's have a look at Buzz Bounce. Next one's called Chipping at the Bit. Double tap. And Harmonic Cloud. Heart of Space. You can probably tell this is one I actually used in the track. Soft harmonic. Soft. It's another one I used in the track. And Stonewaller. Which is also one I used in the track, but um, as as you can hear, it's it's kind of a synth paddy sound, but it dies on you. So what you can do is actually just keep playing it. Mean, you can obviously change the release and the attack here, but by doing this, you can really get a kind of a real pad going underneath by playing it as an up edge here. Um, and let's have a look at the actual percussion element. So you've got dry combo cylinder drums. Dry fat mute. Dry fat pedal mute. So with the sustain pedal, you can change the sound. So this is a, without the sustain pedal. And 
now with. So it shortens the sound. This is called dry fat. This is dry small. Indeed, a lot smaller version. And my favourite, Cylindrum Wit. And that's one of the main uh, instruments I use to create the main riff at the beginning of the track. Um, if we just have a look at that. Um, and uh, so this. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, run you through all the different instruments. So I use Stonewaller. Um, to set up one of the rhythms. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll play the loop and add instruments in bit by bit so you can hear it. So by layering those tracks, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven tracks. Um, I, I built up this this backing pattern entirely from Cylindrum instruments, um, and that's how I made the track. So um, I think it retails at something around fifty dollars, which is um, a steal if you ask me, because it's a fantastic instrument and you can make really fantastic uh, rhythmic backdrops and ambiences with it. And um, yeah, I think it's great. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.